Imagine if there's a mute the game channel point reward. I'm not that dastardly that I would do such a thing to my own streaming experience. And like ruin the other people's streaming experience because everyone wants to hear what the song coming up. Rather suspicious building, wouldn't you say, old boy? Do be careful, eh? So we've made it to the X naught base. <laughs> Who's that, dude? Whoa, it's Mario. Let's get him? Yeah, let's get him, dude. Uh, I actually don't have quick change on because I've been, I've been ha using bump attack. So I need to get Goombella out here. Uh, I guess I can just do this. Get Goombella out. Actually, are you gonna die to return postage? No. That's good. That's an elite x naught This is the, this is the creme de la creme of the x naughts Max FP attack, attack is 5, defense is 1. It does regular attacks as well as boosting... His power or size. Elite x knots are tough, but you just have to smack them away until they go down. Yep, and I'm still so overpowered I one-shot them too. I get one star point per. <clears throat> yeah! Mario, these x knot dweebs are here. That's totally it. Then Princess Peaches must be here too, don't you think? And the Crystal Stars must be here too. We gotta find it, Mario. Do I leave? The song goes away. No. You know, there'd be such a weird building on the moon. It's almost unbelievable, actually. At least it's got a big glass dome to keep all the air from leaking out. What's that? Yeah, now that you mention it, I guess we are okay out here with uh, with no air to breathe. Yeah, I'd rather not think about that too much, I guess. Let's change the subject. <laughs> it's the X Not Fortress, it seems like uh this seems like the only way to get in and out. The stars are really pretty out here. Uh how can you see them through the fortress windows any how can you see them through the fortress windows anyway? So the x Not Fortress theme is one of the best songs in the whole game. And it just keeps getting better. Nice elite fucking x Not. Elevator key. Blue. Room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby trapped, I think. Another free ultra shroom that I can't carry. Uh, use the maple mushroom. I do like what they've done with this song. Just for comparison, this is the reason why Ed, everyone wants to hear it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I get chills listening to this again. Like, it doesn't have the same oomph as the original. I still like it. Use your destination. Actually, wait, don't yet. 
is the fortress corridor. An elevator connects uh, to the lower floors. I guess the fortress extends pretty far beneath the surface of the moon, huh? I mean, I hate Grotus, but I gotta give him some props for a pretty cool evil hideout. Sub level one. I have to take this bump attack off. Well, not you. The fortress corridor. An elevator connects to the lower floors. Okay, it's the same thing for each of the corridors. It's technically the same room. <laughs> this is a fun room, though. It's like a storage room for valuables. The crane can grab stuff uh, in here. Should work if you set up a gear and press the buttons in order. I'm sure you can handle it. It's not exactly moon rocket science here. Uh, we can't actually do anything in this room yet, but gear's under repair. <laughs> so we'll come back to this. And we can't do anything anywhere else here. This honestly speeds up the chapter a lot when I don't have to do any battles. <laughs> when I'm just that broken, when I leveled up like 10 times in the pit. Uh, I do have to take this off because there are other x knots here we have to fight. Like this guy. Uh, let's just do this. One. That's an X dot PhD. Guys like this invent all kinds of annoying things we fight. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, defense is 0. He likes to throw beakers of chemicals. The chemicals do all kinds of stuff like making things huge or burning people. He may also use potions to heal himself or make himself impossible to hit. The X dot PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. Nice heal. I think you were already full health, though. It kind of makes me sad <laughs> that we're this overpowered. I mean, I wanted to do the pit so I could actually take advantage of return, return postage. But I can't take advantage of return postage when I'm so fucking broken. <laughs> Like, they don't even get the chance to hit me. <laughs> hey, remember this room? Uh, let's check what enemies are here. <laughs> there's, like, there's one later on, I think. Did I put the thing back on? No. Let me... Let me just see if, if, if it's in this battle. I think these battles are just x knots. Oh, wait, that guy has a badge. Uh, I want that. I can't tell what badge that is. I think it's 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 a P something badge. Ow. Just take it just just cuz. P down D up. I mean I'm not gonna use it, but I wanted it anyway. Like, I've been getting... I keep forgetting there's stylishes for power bounds. Uh, I keep getting really lucky with all the badge finds, especially the frickin' super rare badges I found in the pit. I uh, just use that. Uh, this is the potion room. Can't do anything in the potion room. I don't think there's anything you can do in the potion room. Uh, put this back on. The thing is, is, like, I have my strategy of using, like, item hog. I don't want item hog. I have too many items that I can't use because I'm one-shotting everything. I could take item hog off. And, like, what do I, what do I do with all this power? <clears throat> 
Like, I could put Lucky Start on, but I don't think I need it because I'm not getting into battles because I'm killing everything in one hit. Stack the pretty luckies? Like, there's nothing else to put on. Super appeal? Like, who needs quick change when I, when I just kill? I originally said bump attack would be a waste, but, like, I didn't think it was going to be this good. You gonna give me the pattern in here? Or? Usually it gives the pattern when I walk into the room. You gonna give me the pattern? No? Oh wait, no, I see it. It's on the wall. I need to walk two over. I walked one over. There's a sleepy sheep in here. Who gives a shit? I don't. Security key. Diamond. here so this is a room does this room work so this is an interesting room we anyway you might be thinking where the hell does this teleporter take us we're underneath rope port the x knots used that thing to come here from the moon this door was always locked down here and now we know why because this is how the x knots got to rogue port so easily it takes us all the way back to rogue port which is crazy. Uh, while I'm in Rogueport now, uh, I am gonna store... Uh, I don't need the life shroom, I genuinely don't. Uh, store the jelly pot, or the jelly candy, because that's taking up inventory space. <laughs> and uh, then I have room for items now. Also, while I'm in Rogueport, uh, let me see if Wonky has anything to say. Uh, nope, we have everything that Wonky has. Uh, just for consistency's sake, I'm actually going to go back to Far Outpost, now that we're here, to get the star piece that I missed. Then we'll go back to the fortress. I just don't want to do it later, even though it makes all the sense in the world to do this later. Uh, because we're gonna have to go back to Far Outpost for Troubles post-Chapter 7 anyway. I don't care. Hey, how's it going? Didn't you send just send me to the moon? That it will not be fired until day, a day we have been waiting for comes. My peace of mind is all thanks to you. I'm so grateful. <laughs> they're not. They're not even questioning how I'm back on the surface of the planet. <laughs> not at all. Anyway, star piece I missed. That's my bad. I knew that was there and I forgot about it. Now we can go back. <laughs> you there? Ow, that still hurts me. Hello. They're on my iframes. <laughs> I've always liked this room a lot, too. It's because they're like, they're like breeding the yucks in test tubes. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, we can go into multiple different areas here from here. 
Uh, there's a star piece in the corner of the room. It'd be interesting changes in how we navigate places as a team chair. I thought, Canada of the Moon is cool. Uh, I believe we want to drop in on the right side. Remember the peach changing room. We're about to change. <laughs> I love that this Easter egg is still here. I used to do this all the time in the original game. Uh, there is a trend in the Mario RPGs of this era to just turn Mario into an 8-bit character again. It was a thing in Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars, and that was in the remake we played last year. Uh, there is an Easter egg of this exact caliber in Paper Mario 64, and I believe Chapter 3. And they brought this Easter egg back in Thousand Year Door. I don't remember if the Mario 1 music played in the original. I think it still played the X-Not Fortress music. Actually, no, I think it played a really weird version. Can I do that? Yeah, I think this is the version that played in the original game. Of like, not the original Mario 1 theme, but a cover of the Mario 1 theme, for some reason. I can't get on Cheese it but if I go into the party menu, everybody's 8-bit. So, <laughs> here is Goombella. Here is Coops. <laughs> Flurry. <laughs> With her pixelated boobage. Vivian. I like pixelated Vivian. Bobbery. And Ms. Mouse. And the Ms. Mouse one is also really cute. You can open up these lockers for no reason. <laughs> Let me get Goombella out. I need a screenshot. Do I t do I have a thumbnail in this room or something? I don't know, but screenshot. Uh, I think the only way to change back is to leave the room. <laughs> so retro. <laughs> Anyway, take that off. Die. So if you remember, over here is Grotus's room. I believe this is the other enemy we need to tattle. So we need to take bump attack off. Ow. Please. Please. <coughs> Get Goombella here. That's an X yux. I heard this. Th uh, uh, I hear this is read as a cross yux, not an X yux. Cross yux. Anyway, the new yux design is pro uh, is to protect imp uh, extra important areas. It was designed to be unbeatable. They're not. Max speed, ten attack is three, defense is one. It can produce two mini yuxes at once, and it has an excellent success rate at immobilizing opponents. They got to do something about that if we're gonna win. Well, uh, I think there's two in this room. I hope there is, because I need the I need the mini yuxes. <laughs> no, it's just the one. There was the one that was guarding this door. I need that thing to come back. I'm gonna hope there's a second one. <laughs> so here's this uh, room. This is Grotus's computer. Get a heart card key. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here other than grabbing the card key. <laughs> yes. Let's get on Cheese It. <laughs> I 
or it's a cog, not a gear. <laughs> Alright, I've had a tweet bookmark for a while. It's from getlucky12341 on Twitter. I think I've had some of their other tweets on here. So I want to pause the game. Uh, for TTYD, for Switch, has a multi-layer audio track. So here's the part of x Not Fortressing that's supposed to play alongside a different audio track. Sounds cool. <laughs> Just wanted to listen to that. <laughs> I hadn't hear, heard that before. I've had it bookmarked for like over a month now. Alright, so here's a fun room. Let's go gambling! The crane will move left as for as long as you hold Y. Then the crane will move backward for as long as you hold X. Use the crane to get what you want. I'm glad that the crane is... I was going to say more consistent. Because there's a giant beam of light underneath it. We're good. <clears throat> this gives us... Stop. Yes. This gives us the Feeling Fine Badge. Makes Mario immune to statuses like... Uh, immune to status changes like poison or dizzying. Okay. Then Feeling Fine P, which is the exact same thing but for your partners. Okay, star piece successfully scooped, and if I am not mistaken, we're not going to collect the, the six coins. Star piece, if I'm not mistaken, that is every star piece in the game. Every single area has had every star piece collected because we got all the star pieces in Rogue Port last time. There are no more star pieces and no more shine sprites the entire game in terms of overworld exploration is 100% complete. Everywhere is perfect perfected. We're all good. I probably never did this in my original playthrough as a kid. So that is officially everything. We can now buy the final badges in Rogueport. And honestly, I could just take the teleporter back to Rogueport and go do that. Uh, bump attack, please. Get out of here. I'm not gonna do it right now to save time. We're gonna go below Rogueport again soon anyway. I don't need the rest of the badges from the guy. I'm not even gonna put them on. Uh, what did I... Oh, this room! Yay, forgot about this. I don't know the access code. Ow. Sure, there's a note in the changing room. 014, 029. 014, 029. Cool, they have extra numbers there. As a red herring. Oh yes, yeah, so this. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, you came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room? Yeah, I thought so. Well, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine. What do you say? 
Whoa, you're mine now. Remember that quiz show halfway through chapter one? It's finally back. Here we go, folks, the main event, the 66th trivia quiz off. Yay! Get five correct answers to the following questions, and you win, win, win! If you get just three wrong, you'll be toast. What are you waiting for, huh? Here we go, question one. What exactly is hidden here? Uh, it is an elevator key. Ah, oh, you're correct! Grud! That was an easy one. You won't get off well next time, I guarantee it! <laughs> Question two. The name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting patiently for Koopa's return. Flavio! Koopy Koo. <laughs> Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boom. How many feet do they have? Six. Because Goomba has two, Buzzy Beetle has four, Lava Bubble has zero, Boo has zero. So what do you mean defeat? Defeat? <laughs> Is it answer? Two, six, eight. Defeat. Or It's elementary for non-idiots. Where's the one and only Diamond Star? Hooktail's belly. You jerk! You've already gotten four correct, you're kidding me! Fine, I'm gonna toss it an extra hard one. You happy now, sucker? <laughs> what is the name of e of the very first champion of the Glitz Pit? Prince Mush. You'll literally fight him in this game. <laughs> you don't fight him in the original, so you might forget about him, but no, but yeah, it is, it is Prince Mush. I like Prince Matthew. No! C -c correct! That's five correct answers. You win! Might get a thumbnail, I'm not sure. I'm so mad right now, I can hardly see straight. I lose, I lose! Fine, but I really hate you. Take this, you bum. <laughs> there we go. Right, finally. Elevator key, red. Finally going down. Uh, we want to go to sub-level four first, I believe. Because this room might look a little familiar. I've been forgetting to get Goombella out to talk about stuff. I wonder what this room's for. There are beds and lockers, but we can't nap here. There's nothing else, really. Weird things, it kind of smells nice in here. Why do you think that is? <laughs> I don't remember that! <laughs> what do you mean? I, I straight up do not think that was in the original game. If it if it was, I have no recollection of that being the case, but that's hilarious. You we think you're peeping on Peach in the shower, but no, it's just an x dot. Oh no, it was in the original. He has a car key that you need. Okay. I straight up had no recollection that that was a thing in this game. Is the shower room? I guess it's a pretty evil guy base of Ultimate Doom needs one. Uh, just because you're evil doesn't mean you enjoy your B.O., you know what I mean? <laughs> also, a thing about that shower room, I was listening to uh, another Let's Play of this. Like, the shower's curtain is in the front view from 
the player's perspective, but not Mario's perspective or anyone else's perspective. So if anyone walks in there, you're, you're still walking in on someone in the shower. The door is locked. <laughs> Cannot go in there. They locked up tech afterward. I think I should go back to sub-level 2 to see title dialogue, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> HP drain? You can go all over the room for this. Oh, they double back on you? That's that's dirty. <laughs> that is the last security key that we need. This room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby trapping, I think. I really hope there's another one of those X not or there's like those yuxes in here. But like I can't find out if I have bump attack on. So like I have to engage in the battles to find out. It's not that guy, I need the other other guy. Because like that it's just not worth doing the fight. Because we're actually headed to the end of the area. Like, I think this is the final room. <laughs> uh, what I'm going to hope is the case... Is I, I would have to, like, I think leave the... I think I might have to leave the moon entirely and come back. But it also might show up in Professor Frankly's garbage can later. Uh, I'm gonna hope. It would be really stupid if I missed that one specific tattle. So, I'm gonna hope that's the case. Also, I don't think these card keys were, were made after suits in, uh, in the original game. <laughs> Princess Peach might be behind that door. Do I still have it off? I still have it off. Do you have the guy? Because there was only one of those in the overworld, but I don't know if these battles have the guy. But no, this is just scientists. I find this room very entertaining. Uh, if it was on, if the room was on. You have to make use of a bunch of different party members in this room, and it's fun. Throw Bobbery over the wall that turns on the conveyor belt. And then I'm gonna get Gwen Battle to tattle in the room. That is the X-Not Factory. I think they make all kinds of stuff here. Perfectly comp- pretty complicated with the crane and the pipe and all those gears. Maybe we should just take- uh, take this room one, one bit at a time, don't you think? Now this room very filler. I like the idea of this room. There's another Ultra Shroom up there. Wow. 
It's really not a lot of, of stuff going on in uh, in the x Not Fortress. Like, in Chapter 7 in general, Chapter 7 is mostly, like, exploration. There is a handful of battles and another Ultra Shrooms. Uh, or Ultra Shroom, I do have inventory space for that. But, like, all Chapter 7 is, you walk toward far outposts, and then you have the backtracking thing, and then you get shot to the moon, and then you come here, and then you do a couple more puzzles. Like, if you know what you're doing, this chapter is incredibly short. I think I can do this. I cannot do this. Alright, let me see if this guy has the other guy in his fight. He doesn't. This is really annoying that there's one of that enemy. Okay. I was thinking that one jump would not kill him, which is why I jumped on him. But it did not work out. Uh, we do have a refresh block. I may as well. <clears throat> I think I remember how you get there. Is that another, another Ultra Shroom over there? Uh... I cannot believe there are two Ultra Shrooms in this room. And like, one on the moon as well. They just freaking give these things out like candy. I haven't had the chance to use any of these items because I haven't been in combat. Here we go. Oh, but I want to hit that button. There's one last paper plane for you. Security key star. Can't forget about Koops. You don't even need Koops for this, but I'm doing it anyway. And now we have our staircase. Let's get Goombella out. Let's take off Bump Attack. And whatever the hell else I put on, take off Super Appeal. And I really don't remember what else I put on. Take off Spike Shield. I don't... You don't need Spike Shield. I just kind of have it. Uh, we will put Quick Change back on. And then maybe, like, I don't care, Timing Tutor. <laughs> like, I have all of these points. And I don't need them. <laughs> I've been waiting for you, and oh man, have I been waiting, and I hate waiting! You again? You've been waiting, huh? Well, so what? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what it means. I used the Crystal Star to lure you here, so that I could take it all- so I could take all of your Crystal Stars. How brilliant is that, huh? And you want to know the best part? Your little pe uh, Peachy Princess isn't even here anymore. Peach is to totally isn't here. Where did you take her, you huge weasel? <laughs> like I tell you the plan. That's a novice villain style. No, I won't be doing anything like that. Sorry. Really, guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are gonna make the perfect workout for Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. 
two. Spin! I hope you're up to the challenge, because this thing is, has raw horsepower, kiddies. Banger! <laughs> yeah, last version was buggy, so we made the move improvements. One, two, a dozen! Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain, you junior varsity losers! Oh, please, if we're not gonna totally whip you for, like, the tenth time. So, tattle! Ah, Magnus on Grapple 2.0, the upgraded version of Magnus on Grapple. It, max HP is 70, attack is 6, defense is 2. Its basic attack will, is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fists for flying X punches. Each X punch has a max HP of 5, an attack power of 6, and a defense of 0. When, it lose, uh, when those fists are flying, you may get attacked by the fists and body in one turn. Take care of those low HP fists early on, trust me. The body's HP gets low, it'll also fire machine guns, and who knows what else. It may not look too different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I think the whole design is a little ridiculous, though. I like the way it looks more than the original, even though the original is more iconic design. So how much damage is I'm go am I going to do with this? Like one-fourth of the boss's health. Here it comes, suckers! Magnus Drill Attack! I mean... Lol, Stage Hazard. Uh... Bobbery. Could you bomb this thing? For four damage. Oh, and a buy followers bot today too? Nice ban. Get out of here. <laughs> Time to unleash some of the, of the sweet special features of this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Hey, what I'm gonna do here... Actually, multi-bounce would probably kill. Don't- I'm not going to ban you. I wanted to use the shooting star, but like, I didn't need to. You know, I've never used this move. Uh, this gives Bobbery a counter. So maybe I'll do something with that. I don't even know if the counter works on the boss. <laughs> oh crud, you guys should be little puddles of nothing by now. Oh well, still got some tricks up my sleeve. Oh yeah, he gives him the good old sucking. <laughs> Eat this! Oh! I put the life shroom away. Because I didn't think I'd need it. Ow! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> you know what? Fair enough! I got outplayed! I'll admit I got outplayed. I thought I'd be fine. I've beaten Purse Mush. I've beaten Bone Tail. You think Magnus von Grapple 2.0 was gonna defeat me? No, I'm actually gonna get my first. I think that's my only game over. To Magnus Von Grapple 2.0 of all bosses. <laughs> that, I mean, other than, like, Prince Mush, but that didn't count as a game over. That's wild that that just happened. Yeah, I know. I thought all my blocking would be fine, but I have my defense so incredibly down because of the attack up stuff that I have. <laughs> That was hilarious. I mean, I'm go- I- I was humbled just now. I got completely humbled. 
I, I just do not laugh in the face of danger. I genuinely thought this uh, this this boss fight would be a piece of cake, but I actually I died. <laughs> I died. I put the life shroom away because I didn't think I'd need it. I have so many healing items. Why would I need the life shroom? But no, <laughs> I actually still need it. All right, let's let's do this then. Just to just to do some funny stuff here, we're gonna power lift. Plus three attack, plus four defense. <laughs> I'm gonna do the mega drill. Ba -do -do -do. <laughs> All right, multi punk. As I fuck up the timing entirely. How much is power bout's gonna do with the power lift? Yeah, we're, like, already back to where we were anyway. In, like, one attack. <laughs> Bro, I'm literally pressing it. Like, I am. Alright, so he's gonna do the suck move. I think because I have Goombella in the front, it's not gonna hit Mario as much. Yeah, because you're attacking the person in the front. <laughs> My power lift it does nothing! You bitch! Absolutely nothing because of my power lift. Oh, and a boo from the audience just made Mario invisible just for fun. Just for the hell of it. Okay, this is ridiculous that I'm unable to time that properly. Oh, if you're gonna do it again, a boo from the audience made me invisible, so like... Like, who cares? Take a drink of water! You can't hit me! You can't hit me! around the whole thing for the three. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh no, hell oh, what? My sweet powered up robots on the ropes, this is wrong. Uh, earthquake. <laughs> Use the item, get it out of my inventory. Just kill him with an earthquake. <laughs> Actual star points this chapter and a 100 coin bonus. Would have been nice if it gave me the spell. <laughs> 28 star points. We only might get like one more level up, maybe two before the end of the game. I don't know. If we're gonna get level ups in chapter eight because of how broken I am. But uh, there he goes. Off to the woe zone with him. I mean, also, the audience members got eaten by Hooktail. <laughs> they never got spat out like, uh, like Coopley did. Like, all those guys are still dead. Mario! You got a crystal star! Your star power is now eight, and Mario learned the special move Supernova. One of the most broken moves as well. If I can even use it in a battle, but. End of chapter!
The last crystal star had been hidden in the x not hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Brodus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they need him next? No Peach interlude, because we don't know where she is. <coughs> well, we're here. And where's this stupid Poshly Sanctum? Our crystal star's in there, right? So they say your putridness, and lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you! <laughs> Great, about time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go! I say, I'd like to mount a large animal horn on my foyer to highlight my social status. Oh my goodness gracious, you have terribly fine horns, don't you? You great thing. What? That's disgusting! Get away from me, creep! You can't have my horns! That sentence could have gone a totally different way. Bowser can't get into the chapter 6 pipe. Eek! Hello there. Hello there, guy. Bosley Heights is nice and warm afternoon, eh? What's that? You're right an evil king, are ya? Really? Yeah, you know, I think maybe a little guy... Are you on a little bit too much sun, eh? Oh, look, my heart trembles. The fountain, so elegant. This is art at its finest. So very observant as usual, my dear Gold Bob. Indeed, surely this is an artisan's art. Yes, dearest one, cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes it makes art art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet how can one appraise what I cannot perceive? Whoa. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me, seriously. <laughs> wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Evil King Extraordinaire, Businessman of Legend, Copa Coat. <laughs> Everyone picks Koopa Coot. I don't know if anyone picks a Businessman of Legend. <laughs> <laughs> I am Bowser, Businessman of Legend. Fear my accounting. <laughs> businessman like business, tri business trips, bribes, and brown ho uh, brown noses. Oh my! Wow, tough life, huh? So, mister, you in charge of the coffee maker, or what? <laughs> Can I say the other options? Oh, I can say the other ones. I'm Bowser! Bowser! Evil King Extraordinaire! Yee! Oh, I can't say Koopa Coot now. <laughs> well, everyone else is gonna pick it anyway. You'll find it out. Darn it! The lock broke. Oh, baby, awesome! It opened! Talk about lucky! Guess my rage really pays. He did it! Finally! Yes, this is it, Haggy! This is finally it! <laughs> At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star! Yes! Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the absolute best stargeting guy. <laughs> you there. I have you now, villains. You're common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? It's my eyes never deceive me. What are you implying? I'm no thief. I'm... <laughs> Koopa Coots. <laughs> A shadow thief. The remorseless... Uh, remorseless evil king, king of evil. <laughs> Bowser, the remorseless king of evil. And I'll take what I want, and I want this. Uh-oh. Uh, Bowser, you say? Remorseless king of... What was that last bit again? Oh, uh, yes, no matter. Yes, yes, I have deduced. <clears throat> and then listen well. That crystal star is actually a, ve a veritable red herring. Yes, an imposter. You could say there is an imposter among them. What? A fake? 
Oh, look at that fancy display. The pedestal and everything. It's so posh. If it's a fake, then where's the real one? Hmm? You must know. I gave the real one to Luigi. <laughs> You've got to be killing me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Oh, those Mario Bros are the most annoying brothers of all time. How bothersome. The fact that we kept getting outmaneuvered is so disturbing. Where in the world could Mario and his brother be headed? Where? Lord Bowser. <laughs> A paragoomba. What are you so worked up over? Tell me. Now reporting, sir. And, uh, ma'am. Sir and ma'am. Mario collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand-year door. What? The thousand-year door? What the heck is that? The thousand-year door. An unbelievably legendary treasure is behind that door. I'm going there, too. Immediately. Princess Peach and the legendary treasure will be mine. Gabby, we're leaving. Now. Ah, well done, Luigi. <laughs> they literally say Mario gathered the stars, and he's like, Ah, Luigi! Very done, well done, Luigi. We do not fail yet. Wherever you are, may you continue to triumph. <laughs>